Wall Gamer of Life, the hope of Wall Gamer. Welcome everyone to a bit of a special Monday musing. As you can see, I'm not alone tonight. Um, I'm joined by the wonderful people from, uh, well, Chill Calm, but John Moggy as well. So uh, you, if anybody's seen any Forge World model, you'll know this man's work <laughs> ever. <laughs> and Elston Nation, of course, is joining me down there as well. So what's this show about tonight? I'm going to do a quick intro. Um, essentially, we're all at Chilcon this Saturday in Derby. Steve's going to tell you a bit more about that. And Wargamer Online is there as the official media partner. Lovely title. Thank you very much, Steve. Um, and these wonderful people will be joining a Wargamer Online, a desk type live hobby pro painter desk we haven't quite worked out the title but it's incredibly <laughs> exciting and you're going to be able to come along talk to these chaps about how they do their wonderful paints painting techniques and all the rest but at the same time they're going to be giving the demonstration so we're going to see a whole raft of techniques and stuff which these guys will be happy to chat to you about but before do you want to say hello everyone just quick hello just hello. to see <laughs> hello, <everyone. laughs> right it'd be great to know if uh, everything's working okay but um, i'm hoping it is um, okay, in the chat we've got David White that says, Hi everyone, this is my first time catching this live. Time zones in Canada don't match up well for live streams. Can I apologise now for the random nature of this show then? <laughs> <laughs> but David, thank you very much for joining us. Um, we've got a whole bunch of people in the chat. There was a question right at the beginning as well, which was, how does one make an emperor as glorious as that? And I think, Mr. Moggy, that was one of your models. So did you make that emperor model or where was that from? Uh no, it's a Kabuki model. It's the Kabuki, what's it called? Celestial Knight. Sure. 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 Two point zero. Yeah, something like that. It's called. It's a, it's a Kabuki model. Well, there you go. Uh, Check that out. Um, right, Steve. Um, we're all at Chilcon. Chilcon is your brainchild. Um, do you want to tell us about what's happening in Derby this Saturday? Yep. Yeah, uh, so, Chilling War Gamers as was has done this live show at Chilcon. Um, this will be our third show. It'll be the first time that we're holding it in uh, Derby. We're going to have it in Alistair Derby this Saturday on the 22nd, 10 till 4. Uh, we've gone all out crazy with traders, participation games. We've introduced new things like this Hobby Live, Pro Painting Desk thing. Uh, going to give that a whirl. We've got a painting competition, we've got a big bring and buy, we've got all sorts of stuff. We've got a bar, so I mean, that's it. I what's what's the swag bag about? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about the swag bag. I've got your website up oh, now, yeah. Steve, by the way. Swag bags. Um, so, as, uh, up to my knowledge, there's no show in the UK that does like a goodie bag, swag bag sort of thing. Uh, so we thought we'd give that a go. So you can still get your, your normal entry of four quids, but then we introduced another three price brackets. So yeah. for a tilt, you get one of the resin spud, resin Ragnar spud rocks, uh, and then the show mini as well. And then for 30 quid, we've asked traders that are attending and a couple that aren't attending, and they've um, provided stuff for us to put in these bags. Uh, so I think the 30 pound bag is like over 90 pounds worth of stuff. So you'll get stuff from uh, all small miniatures, uh, crooked dice, Sarissa, wall banner. There's loads. I'm gonna forget things as I'm going because um my mind's gone. Um, and then we went one step further with the hundred pound bags. So you got everything up to now, so the swipe bag for thirty quid and all that. And then Mantic and Gang Gangs of Rome from War Banner, they put in a two player starter set. So you're gonna get a Star Saga from Mantic uh, and the Blow on the Own Time for the Gangs of Rome set. You gotta get even more swag from Sarissa. Uh, more from foot, so uh, I think the RRP of the bag's just over 300 quid. What? Wow. Um, and it, is it true that one lucky Mega Bag winner gets uh, a night with uh, Moggy, personal tuition, or? Oh, <laughs> five of them. oh I'm so glad that wasn't me. <laughs> the I, I, I'm, I'm so glad that the weird winner. One night with personal tuition. That's well <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for the record, no, you don't get a night with Moggy, but what an amazing prize. You should do like a mega awesome bag next year. Yeah, it can be arranged. 
<laughs> okay, so painting competition as well. Um, last year there was a few entries. So what are you hoping for this year? And are there different um, are there different uh, uh, genres of painting that you can enter, or is it all just one sort of competition? Yeah. Um... At Sheffield, we did uh, a little small one. Uh, it was mainly I. The idea was for people to paint a little resin spud, uh, but we had so many questions asking about a paint competition that we thought, sorry, we'll just do it. Um, so there's six entries that you can choose from. Don't ask me what they are. I know there's fantasy, sci fi, historical, vehicle, that's about it. And one from the 16s. There's a squad as well. So oh, yeah, there's a the squad. Um, um, so people are more than welcome to entry, enter more than one of those genres. Uh, you just bring them down, we'll take a picture of it, we'll have it on display, and then uh, it's going to get judged. And then the winners will be announced at about half two, and then you get to win some awesome prizes. Awesome, awesome. And uh, do we need to, obviously if you're entering the paint competition, are these guys going to be up against these uh, illustrious painters in between us right now? <laughs> Damn it. Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, these fine shops will be providing some of their work so we can all have a look at it, um, but we hope they won't be entered because obviously. <laughs> we, 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 can't, we Well, we, t we, got fa we found out about this about half an hour ago and we were like, you can enter, <laughs> but you won't win. And we're like, right, okay. <laughs> I think it's only fair if you if if you're so tied to Chilcon, it does seem a little bit of a cheek to win your yeah. kind of own competition, really. Winning. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a quick catch up on the chat before we move on to talking about then this uh, Pro Painter Live Hobby Desk, um, because that's the exciting thing uh, uh, for for us really. This is something new for all of us, isn't it? As well, so <laughs> and. Mm -hmm. Part of this show is to also try and establish what we're actually going to be doing on the day. Because we know we're showing up. We know we're bringing airbrush equipment. We know we're bringing paints and lights and camera equipment and all the rest. And the plan is to do some live painting demonstrations. But what we don't really know is what are we going to be painting? What are we going to be showing? What techniques are we going to be showing? So we're, we'll work that out on the live show. People can input what they'd like to see. And um, hopefully... Somewhere in the next 30, 40 minutes, we'll have an answer of what, what we're going to be doing come Saturday. Let's do a quick catch up on the chat just to say hello to people who've, who've joined us tonight. So we've got Estefan Rodriguez, who was the one that asked the question actually about your model there. Um, I've got a little feedback from someone. Yeah, Moki, is that you again? Is that, is that you? Just, ah, oh, he's not happy, look. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart Noble saying good evening. Liam is joining us. Hey, Liam, it's good to see you. Um, Coleman's in there as well. Jim Wilson. Moggy Miniatures is in there. Hey, mate, how you doing? Um, how you doing, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Rowett is in there. DJ the Lucky One saying hi to all else the nation. David Wright says, oh, I think we've covered that one. That's the first time for the Canada. You got a double mention, so there you go. Andy Brooks, uh, Jet Black SVW says hello. Uh, Martin Dix is in there as well. Something about sneaking a quick look at the show while it's his girlfriend's birthday. I wouldn't recommend that. Just turn off and uh, catch us later, mate. Don't don't get in trouble. Frost and Fist says, hey there, beautiful people. I can, I can only assume he means primarily me, but Phil, I love the new intro. Thank you very much, man. Uh, Neil is in there. Does YouTube allow that many beards? Um, I don't know. I don't know. We have don't tried know. to avoid the beards touching, haven't we? Otherwise, Mine's a starter beard. Not like you that... like. <laughs> Not as majestic as Phil. Mine's a polished beard. <laughs> 12 Neef is joining us from Brooklyn, New York. 12 Neef, I still fondly remember the day we played skirmish together, mate. It was amazing, that. So uh, hopefully, if you're ever back in the UK, let us know again. Chief Joseph, the amount of beards flowing. Um, <laughs> he's messing up the frame count on the cam. Um, <laughs> Al Kirkman, uh, hello all, glad to be back. My new artificial left knee after much pain and therapy. So, well, uh, glad to have you back and uh, wishes for a speedy recovery. Oh, I think we've about got there with Al Kirkham, Skegadron saying hello. Yes, we're there. That's cool. And good wishes to Al again. Everybody's wishing you good uh, well wishes in the chat as well. Right. Let's talk about this live hobby desk. And that feedback's so, back again. Feedback's back. But we'll, uh, I think we're just going to have to soldier a few. I don't know. John, have you got a set of, a set of headphones at all? I was going to say no, isn't it? 
He's not. No, it's it, it, it always <laughs> happens with you. Come on, sort it out, buddy. I probably have got somewhere buried under a. Yeah, over there We're somewhere. Back, right. The, the way we get up to some of this is everyone talks really quietly. Okay, let's all keep our voices down a little bit. Really quiet. Come Not you, John. You need to speak loudly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're the only one that's allowed to talk loud. All the rest of us have to be really quiet. Hang on, I'll turn it. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, I think he's gone. He's just killed himself. <laughs> When I say kill, I meant Mike wise, not yeah, no. <laughs> so let's more. talk about let's talk about the day then. Um, Steve, we've got a space, haven't we? Um, how how much space have we got to work with? Uh, quite a bit. I think you got twelve foot or so. Twelve yeah, foot. So I think on that we can probably set up, you know, two paint stations. Maybe we'll have one for airbrushing. Um, and one for sort of hand paint techniques. I think that's probably the way we'll do it and maybe rotate around people being on the desk and we'll have breaks throughout the day. But the plan is also to set cameras up on some of this as well and stream some of this live on Wargamer Online. And if the connection is good enough and if it works well enough, I'll also be taking a wonder round Chilcon. So while these guys are having a break from painting, I'll probably grab the cameras and have a, a little bit of a live trot around Chilcon so we can check out some of the event as well. But that's great for everybody who isn't going to make it to Chilcon, but um, it'd be even better if you can make it to Chilcon as you get to meet these wonderful paint painters face to face and um, ask them for wise words on, on their work. I love how John's shaking his head. He's like, You're right, obviously going to be talking to Elston because wide words. <laughs> <laughs> What I thought would be really good, so people who are watching can have an idea of what your work is like, is I'm going to bring up some examples on screen, or at least I'm going to attempt to, because, yep, okay, we're good, we're good, let's do this. So first up, I am showing, this is a, an image from Forge World, actually, So and strangely enough, it's it's not Moggy. Um, this is the Dread Mall uh, by Paul Elston, so there you go. Oh, yeah, that was a, that was a funny day, when Moggy told me that had popped up. Like, <laughs> and I was like, he's like, you're famous, mate. I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, have a look. And I was like, oh, all oh, right, okay. Yeah, it was cool. That was, it's, uh, a, that was nice. it's a beautiful piece of work. And surprisingly, I think when I watched the tutorial for this, because the tutorial is available on your uh, YouTube channel as well, isn't it? Yeah. When I watched yeah. the tutorial for this, is that a scale effect was actually airbrushed, wasn't it? Was that correct? It's, yeah, yeah. It's effectively one scale pattern. Um, put down and then move slightly so that it's like a double layered scale effect sort of thing um yep. yeah and it, it came out it came out better better than i can imagine to be fair it was completely <laughs> experimental like guessing to see if this will work and it came out i was like oh i've done a good one so uh yeah <laughs> Well, yeah. exper <laughs> experimentation is a big part of painting, I'm sure. Um, yeah. But that was a hell of a successful experiment then, mate. Um, next up, I've got what looks like a little bit of freehand work on a Space Wolf banner. I'm putting that up for Frost and Fish really more than anyone. I know he's hanging around in the chat there. So, um, uh, okay. Do you remember yeah, this one? This is the uh, Space I, yes. Wolf. Yeah, yeah. No, I do, I do remember this. Um, the reason why I remember this so fondly is that is on a two-by-two two canvas downstairs on my doorway um, because right. I, I painted that symbol for my partner for one of her birthdays. So, But it's on this size style thing hanging wow. up on the door frame. So you come into my house, you'll see that straight away. So that was kind of... Uh, I, I don't want to use the words easy, but it was kind of because I spent so long doing it before, I just had to scale it back down again and put it onto a banner. And um, yeah, it seemed to come out nice. So it works nice. big and small. Um, I think next up, what we've got to look at is if I can get the screen to work. And I have done. So we've got um, what appears to be blue helmeted blood secretors or blood bound, uh, corn blood bound, are they? Or you tell oh, me. Oh, yeah, right. So no, this was a, <laughs> this was a commission. Um, the they they're for um they're supposed to be space marines. Um, really? But, oh right, okay. No, I yeah, like it. Yeah. So he the, the the guy cut the horns off. Um, and he wanted to do a corn army, but he wanted it to be a blue corn army. Um, and I was like, okay. 
Um, so yeah, yeah, uh, it was. It was to be honest with you, it's just a great opportunity to paint something like that. It's uh, muscles upon muscles sort of thing to try and get it right is interesting. But yeah, it came out quite nice. Right. Well, I'm desperately clicking through at the moment to see if I can get through to. Uh, I appear to have. <laughs> Accidentally landed on Forge World's website, so this can only be Moggy's work. Um, <laughs> yep. And uh, actually, I brought up the model you mentioned. I mentioned earlier in the chat, actually. So this is clearly uh, not the Emperor of Mankind because this isn't an official Forge World model, is it? But um, no. but uh, what a beautiful job! Um, an incredible use with gold. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this? I mean, one thing, did you airbrush this? Did you use airbrush as part of it, or is this all hand painted? Uh, yes, uh, it's all the armor's airbrushed, except for the details I've picked out with a brush. The actual face, mostly airbrush, and then I've gone in and just picked out the details. Most of it's airbrush to be out fur, and then yeah, you just got to be precise with your airbrushing. Uh, and what, you know, people always ask this question, so what airbrush are you using, what paints are you using to get to work at that level of detail? The actual golds are Gamer, Chainmail, Gamer, Brassy Brass, and right Gold, is it? What's it called? Polished Gold. Right. You just so start that's... with you, you mix two together and just layer up to the top, and then you wash it back, and you can pick out the details. Well, I use uh, what's it called, Retributor Gold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The face is the undead flesh set from scale seventy-five. You then it'll highlight the head, and then from the bottom you spray the dark color, and then from the top you spray the medium thingy, and then hit it right at the top with the top for the brightest color, so you get. a transition going through and then you wash it back and then you start picking out the teeth, the cheeks, the eyebrows and stuff, through the eyes. So guys, so guys, you won't need to come to Chillcom now because Morgan's just taught you how to do it. Oh, yeah, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, um, just as you were finishing off there, Moggy, um, Al, who's who's back from his operation, has just donated a hundred pound to Wargamer Online. So that's oh, Jesus. incredible. Uh, oh, thank you very uh, much. That's a stunning donation. Thank you very much, mate. And um, wh when we've got a a, a, a a mono Monday musing, well, I'll have a little bit of a chat about that as well. Thank you very much. Though. Um, right, moving on, which I feel bad about moving on because that's incredible. Thank you, Al. But um, we do need to we we'll move on to the show. Um, Moggy, I'm going to bring up... Oh, at least I thought I was going to bring up and then I clicked off the screen. So now I'm going to have to stall seamlessly. Um, <laughs> while I... It was the awesomeness of the photograph. It just seemed blinding. <laughs> 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 Back on to Forge World. Um, right, okay then. We're here. We're good. We're good. We're good. I think this is kind of your iconic work now. Um, what I'm looking at is, um, this is a Custodian Dreadnought, and you're going to have to help me out with a proper name for this. Um, wasn't this a Golden Demon entry stood in front of the, the sort of the log, the piece of wood? Yeah, that's a Telemon Dreadnought, yeah. Uh, it, I, I got a finalist pin for that, so yeah, it's uh, Black Custodians. Stunning work, it's stunning a, work. And, and, and oh, the reason that's... It's one of the things I was going to do, the black and the red, what, the, the hobby. Whatever we're calling it, I will be live. I'll be live. There you go. It's one of the things I was going to show people what to do. How to do <laughs> That's it. brilliant. I am definitely going to be hanging around for that. <laughs> I might even film some stuff for the channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. We can do that. <laughs> do you want to um, tell me? You told me a story about the piece of wood back there. That's not just a piece of wood out of the forest, is it? Oh, you mean the seven pound twig? <laughs> yeah, man, I can't it's believe it. It's a, it's a piece of bog wood from a, an aquarium shop, and in this shop they have these twigs all braided. It's got a bit of sellotape on it, gives you the price. I want to be the guy who sits there and goes, "Oh, that's a thirty-pound twig, that." I, but I yeah, mean, but it's a piece of bog wood. It's a piece of bog wood, and I've painted it in the background. I am definitely in the wrong business, man. If you can sell a twig for seven pounds, <laughs> there were two hundred pound twig, yeah. Twig. Uh, I it's will incredible. go out and start selling twigs for two hundred pounds if people buy them. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's incredible, but it is a sign of a dedicated hobbyist that basically walks around in the real world, seeing components for bases, dioramas, and conversions. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what you do. You just, well, it's like what Asda. He's got oh, 
to do that or something. <laughs> I, I was, <laughs> it was some time ago now, but I was in a supermarket and I was, I was stud studying a milkshake bottle and my wife came up to me and was going, what, are you going to buy it? And I was like, I was just thinking this would make a great Eldar tower. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think the next one then, Constantine Valdor, is that correct? The great big giant dude? I'm sure that's Constantine, isn't it? Yeah, it's Constantine Valdor. Um, and who's that alongside him? Is that just a standard custodies or...? Uh, yes, it's the shield captain. It's the shield captain one. <laughs> yeah, but the, yeah, yeah, but the yeah, it's the your shield captain. Yeah. Ah, okay, awesome. So let's... I think I there's think... rumours that should have been Valdor, and they thought, oh, he's not glamorous enough, and then switched it back. Ah, okay. um, yeah, it is it's yeah, a stunning it it's a stunning model. Um let's talk about your red cloaks for a bit. So um what's going how do you get that? How do you get that wonderful solid red colour? Well that one's that one's matty back normally because I've I've done about twelve models, but normally it's uh zenital highlighted, so it's I go from black to white. So where I want the lighter spots I put white. Leave it black. Or you can even put three shade green in there if you want. Uh, and then I use ammo blood red paint because it's like a transparent red. And you put that over the top. You get you get the because you've done the three shades underneath. You get the you get the contrast going through. And you just sat it satin it back, and then that's that's your red cloaks. So you can either use blacks or greens to do your shadows. So. That's nope. stunning work. Nice. It's stunning. I, I, strangely enough, I've never heard the use of greens for the shadows. That's incredible. That really creates like a contrast in those deep shadows. Then, yeah, it gives you. You can, like, you can go from black to green. So you, you know what I mean. So your shadow actually, you get a contrast in your shadow as well. So, oh, beautiful. Oh, I've been told to move my cursor to one side, please. I think I was covering some of the detail up on your model, but unfortunately, <laughs> that comment's about 20 seconds old, so um, I'm not quite sure. Up Steve Nars. <laughs> Just sticking up Steve's nose there. I think I can do. Yeah, there you I'm, go. That. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's probably why. That's probably why. Okay, next up, before we come back to some of Elster Nation's work, um, let's just have a quick look at this. So, again, this is Wardens of the Vaults of Rython, and it's one of the Custodes grav tanks with some kind of weird pew-pew laser on top. I really don't know enough about... Um, oh, no, laser on top? Weapon names are like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, didn't, what That's I didn't mean to put you on the spot there. Yeah, that's the Annihilator cannon on them ones. Is it? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got, think... the, you've, got, you've got the Icarus cannons on the other one, and the Annihilator cannons on this one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So talk us through, yeah, so I think, through, maybe the gold on this, because that's a beautiful, um, you know, broad uh, and smooth area of gold. Um, is that yeah. a similar technique that's to what you described before? That one is... Uh, I hand paint the retributor gold onto the panels and then I'll mix silver into the retributor gold and do the highlights along the top and down the sides. Then a little bit of silver right at the top for your top to shine. So that's that's both that's both airbrush and hand painting, so otherwise if you, you can you can actually mask it off and do it in all the airbrush, but I just find it quicker but hand paint it and then just do the highlights with an airbrush. It's, it's just beautiful work. Just beautiful. I think one of the things I really admire, and I'm glad to hear that you're going to be showing it on the day at Chilcon, is um, your technique for black. Because I think um, I know from uh, the two tutorials on Wargamer Online, how to paint black armor is probably one of our most popular tutorials. Because it's just famously tricky, isn't it, to get that balance right? Yeah, the trick to painting black is not painting black. Yeah. Uh, use black for your shadows. Mm. You, you, you think this black should be in the shadows, and then you highlight up from there. A lot of people think the black I do is metallic. It's it's not. It's actually black highlighted up. It's slightly non-metallic metal when it looks that way, but it's not. It's black highlighted, highlighted up to a white. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But there's a fine balance, isn't there, where that black looks like a highlighted natural black versus becoming a grey. I mean, how do you keep a check on that from your perspective? It's... It's where you're hitting the other colours. So, like I say, you keep the black in the shadows, so your deepest shadow. And then I'll, what I'll do, I'll, I'll prime it black, and then I'll paint it. It's called Decayed. 
black from scale 75, which is not that's not a true black anyway. Mm. But that that will be the things. And now I'll go up to ghost grey, so I'll pick out the panels I want slightly brighter as a ghost grey, and then hit edges like the tips of the toes, tips of the shoulders. You know, we're, we're white, so you get eventually you'll get like a three tone black effect going from. I use a transparent white, so it goes white, grey, black, and then deepest black in the shadows. Right. But I can sh I can show that on think It's just it's just knowing where to hit each panel or where you want the light hitting the panel on that model. Well, I mean that's what's going to be valuable if you can make it to Shulcon on the day, and it's definitely worthwhile. Um, it's worthwhile just alone, but never mind about getting the chance to see you do black. Um, you know, and actually sort of paint that. Um, so yeah, make a trip if you can get along. Before we go, I just want to jump back to some of um, Elster Nation stuff. I've got a I've got a, a a room full of tanks here. These are Space Wolf tanks. Um, uh, which ones? Oh, no, this is rhinos, rhinos and predators. Yes. I believe they're called. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, recently on a tutorial on War Game Online. That, well, that's true. Yeah, actually, yeah. By sheer coincidence. But um, <laughs> talk me through the sharp highlights you've got on, say, the the turrets of the Predator. You know, you've got that lovely kick on that that sharp edge there. Is that oh, using okay. masking, or is that just sort of natural positioning of the model? Yeah, natural positioning. Um, you just aim aim the brush, well, tip the tank, and aim the brush so that it won't overspray onto another part of it. So, and then it just hits that that edge, and then yeah, the rest is kind of you know wing it, be a little bit careful around the small areas and stuff like that, and then and any way you can take the panels apart. Um, and spray them and do them all separately and put them on later. So um, we, can yeah. show you, we, can, we can show you how to use a flying mask as well for doing sharp edges and transitions and stuff like that. We can show yeah. you how to do that as well on panels. Yeah, yeah, it's it's dirty uh, as well. You just basically just get a piece of cardboard a lot of the time. Just, yeah, just put it on the edge. You spray onto the card so your other spray goes onto the panel. <clears throat> yeah, excuse so, me. And that's called a flying mask. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Well, I, I've got a feeling I'm going to do less walking around and more sitting and watching you guys, but <laughs> I, might, I might get in trouble with the, the man over there. Actually, actually, my thumb's off the picture, so you can see who I was pointing out anyway, but Steve. Um, hey. Steve, um, talking of airbrushes, talking of paints, what's there for the hobbyist? Before we get into the models and the games, what's there for the hobbyist at Chillcon? Uh, well, we've got a couple of trainers that just solely do uh, hobby supplies like Barwell, airbrush supplies. Uh, they'll be there and they've got like all your spare parts, uh, paints, all that sort of stuff, cleaning products, spray boots, everything. Uh, and then we've got a trainer that was brought on just after the weekend, actually, so today, uh, ABC Brushes. So he does. Um, Cheap brushes, but they're really good. Um, cool. So it's good value for money. Uh, and then there's going to be traders there that'll sell paints and spray cans and glue and all that. So everything. What about from a from a model um, perspective? Then what kind of model ranges can we see there? Get your own website up, Steve. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no. um, a lot. We've got everything from fantasy, sci-fi, historical. So we've got Rubicon models there, which have got extremely nice tanks. Uh, they're that good. They use them for scale models. Um, so when you come down, you can see Steve Perry used one of the awards. Yeah. Um, he's done really nice kits with them and dioramas. They're amazing. Uh, but they're great for war game as well. Um, they're much better than other well-known companies' tanks. Um, We've got people like Atlantis Minis there who do some really nice fantasy yeah. dwarves or I want to see those and that sort of stuff. Uh, we've got All Swan there, which is well known for burrows and badges. That looks cool. There we're there. We've got um, All Manor there who do a large range of historical with foot souls and all that sort of stuff in the new yeah. game Gangs of Rome. Um, and he's going to be demoing a new game there as well. Yeah. Got to get that plug in. <laughs> yeah, well, Gangs of Rome is is awesome. The aesthetic of that game is just beautiful. I've not seen it demo played yet. I, well, I, actually, that's a lie. I've seen about five minutes of it, but it's stunning. Just yeah, the whole yeah. look of the table, the terrain, and the models. It, it's amazing. And it, it weirdly enough, I don't know why, but it doesn't feel like you're playing a historical game. If it, just, you kind of forget. Yeah, that yeah, it's, I know what you mean. 
you know, yeah, it doesn't have that sense to it at all. It just has a really nice, thematic, beautifully detailed skirmish game, you know. Yeah, yeah. Right, Mr. Elstonation. Um, I've got a Magnus, a Magnus up on screen at the moment. Oh, um, this is gonna be Max. one of yours. Um, yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was um, well, Game of Online Chronicles. That was the last ditch effort to squeeze something in during that. Because uh, <laughs> I've done a lot, and everyone was like, "That's crazy how much you've done." And I was like, "I've got to get one last thing in here." And, yeah, um, just to do something small. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just quickly <laughs> pop a Magnus in there, as they say. <laughs> Magnus did. Magnus did nothing wrong, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> just on actually uh, Steve you mentioned Barwell Bodyworks we've actually teamed up with Barwell Bodyworks and we're doing a giveaway um, which uh, I think is drawn on it's the beginning of October, first week of October um, and we're giving away three places to attend an airbrush workshop at Barwell Bodyworks which Steve is running on the 16th December. so if, if you've not seen that already check that video out anyway get your entry in all you've got to do is put a comment on that video or if you're a premium member there's two places going to premium members on wargamer online as well but check that out because steve's an amazing guy moggy i think you're echoing again people in the comments are <laughs> starting to comment i'm sorry guys i don't i'll just put my hand i put my headset on like this volume down we'll talk to you in sign language <laughs> we'll leave them oh, oh don't don't look at him. <laughs> sorry dude there you go the microphone. right yeah, one, 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 i think given the time one last trip to um to elston Asian town um i'm looking at some kind of grobbly green dude with eight legs uh is this a jabberwocky oh, oh no that's the, that's the basilisk the basilisk, right? Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a forge world model. That one. Uh, yeah, that was that was fun. That was uh, me starting off my monster collection with forge world, and um, yeah, that was that was fun to paint. And I'm pretty certain on your channel, there's definitely a tutorial for that because I've watched it about four times. Yes, I think. yes, there is one for that as well. <laughs> it's beautiful work. It's great. Um, did that get featured on Forge World as well? Uh, they commented on it, just saying that was nice work, sort of thing. But it wasn't. So, it wasn't like the the dreadmall sort of thing where everyone was going. Rah, 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 rah. Was, yeah, that was that was more just one of those things. Okay, nice job. Like, cool, so, you, you, so, you, so you've got one model upon Forge World's website, haven't you? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's as much as I got. Unlike Moggy, yeah. every, <laughs> every <laughs> other week, they was on Forge World. <laughs> well, not me. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, for custodies all over again. At the very least, yeah, I've got uh, all custodies. There's a mechanic on there, and you know, the, the, the yeah. Stuff. So yeah. anybody who comes along to Chillcon, do me a favour. Uh, the first thing you do when you walk up to these guys and see what they're doing is turn to, turn to Moggy and say, haven't I seen your stuff on Forge World? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I just and put then... a banner at the back. Forge World banner at the back. Yeah, That's or range, if... Oh, everyone would just be mean to me and just say it to me and be like, no, no, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, let, let's cover a little bit back to Steve during the day then. Besides the models and all the rest, you mentioned food. Uh, what, what's the food going to be like? Last time uh, when I was at Chilcon in Sheffield, um, there was a guy selling mead there as well. Um, it, oh, he's there. He's there, is he? Well, yes! Oh, that's amazing. It uh, was amazing it was stuff. not to have him back, wouldn't it, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad you are having him back. Otherwise, you'd have had to say, oh, no, he's not. He's not there, and then I'd have felt really bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh actually, well, no, I'm not. I'm okay. uh, the food was great. The food was great there as well. So, is this a similar setup? Is this going to be kind of an outdoor food place, or? Uh, yeah, we're going to have a different food vendor. Right. Because um, uh, after every show, we send out feedback forms and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. So obviously, uh, the majority of people really enjoyed the food, uh, but found it was a little expensive. Ah, okay. So we've got in um, at like a gourmet burger van who does things suitable for vegans, vegetarians, us meat lovers, uh, and all sorts. And they do breakfast, which is good. Oh, yes! Right. So what time does it start on the day? Uh, 10 o'clock. And um, I'm looking at Elston Nation here. I believe, are you staying with me on Friday night? 
I was just... I was planning on it. Um, yeah, yeah <laughs> I think I am still. That's, That's going to be great. Point. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so we'll be coming up early in the morning. When, when do you think we can be having access to set up there? Uh, eight. Eight o'clock. Eight. Right. Eight. Okay. If you got that else nation, we're going to have to be up bright yeah. and early. You get yeah, up at so like four in the morning every day anyway, don't you? Yeah, honestly, we're going to have to head off about half six, I think, if that's the case then. Yeah, yeah, we could, I, you know, I can probably do it in about 25 minutes. An hour and a half drive, 25 minutes, I like it. Actually in fact, in actually, I'm not 100% certain at this stage, but we might be picking Sam up on the way as well. He's coming along oh, okay. for the day, so um, cool. we might, it might be, might be 30 minutes. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> awesome. Uh, it's all right, I'll just be going on my own then. It's all right. Well, no, I was just going to say, uh, Mr. Moggy, before you, you started going for the sympathy vote. Well, don't, don't, I can don't, probably don't, pick... don't, 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 don't. Are you a million miles away? He's the other end of the country. I'm a million miles away from you. Oh, man. Well, 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 I'll tell you what, we'll meet you there and I'll buy you a breakfast at the burger van. That sounds like this one. I'll have uh, a hash brown. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the limit is uh al's donation you can't eat more than that i think <laughs> you can't eat more than 100 pounds worth of breakfast <laughs> <laughs> okay right um i'm gonna have a quick look at the chat and see if anybody's got any uh suggestions of what they'd like to see on the day and if you haven't made a suggestion already Bang a suggestion in the what bottom. Do what do you want to see these guys painting? Yeah, you can literally ask us if you want us to show you a technique or something like that on the day. Let us know now so we can get the stuff ready to bring. So this is your chance. I think, uh, yeah, just looking at the chat, it, uh, reassuringly, the chat is about as random as this show is. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I think people have got on board with it. Got on board with the spirit of this show. Um, <laughs> Frost and Fist, that banner is gorgeous. Uh, Blue Corn is my least favourite, no amount of chilli flakes. Uh, <laughs> Space Stormcast Eternals. Um, da -da -da. Yeah, it's random by the looks. Biggie McBiggins. Um, I don't think anybody's actually said anything of any sense whatsoever. So I'm just quickly <laughs> trying to get to the bottom. Um, Slippy Tiger says, hey, you're dipping my toe into 40k with Gene Steeler Kill Team. Nice, nice. I actually nice. saw, was it amongst uh, Moggy's stuff, where there was a unit. Uh, was there a unit of Gene Steeler, or am I dreaming that? Oh, it's, uh, it's Necromunda stuff in there. Ah, that's Necromunda, is it? Okay, I take that back. Yeah. I was flying through. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Let's just bring that up anyway for people. So, do you want to tell us about this Necromunda gang of yours? Is it yours? Oh, it was a commission actually. Uh, it's, and, oh, it's the Arlox with the Forgeable Bounty Hunters and stuff. It's, they're really fun models to uh, paint actually. I did all the, all the painting on these was done with a brush because that that some of the details of that time it's hard to do with an airbrush. So yeah, most of all that is uh, hand painted. So and it, it's the, is that doing units is that a rarity for you? Do you, do you tend to focus on the larger models or? Uh, well, I've got about 500 custodian troops to paint, so but I've painted them in batches of five because if I do more than that, it gets overwhelming. I pull me out of it, so stuff like that you do in batch, small batches. But like the Orlocks, it's only 10 dudes, so you just paint the 10 dudes or whatever, so. Uh, I yeah. find it easy to do it that way. <laughs> well, I, I think that's why Slippy Tiger, a great place to start, is Kill Team, because you're talking maximum of 20 models. And yeah. I, I I think it's a really great starting place to get 10, 20 models and get them painted and sit there and look at that, that entire force that's painted and feel that sense of achievement rather than just storm on ahead into sort of collecting grey plastic to the point where your collection is so big, it's actually just puts you off even getting started. You know, you just look at that sea of grey and never even pick up the brush for one more. I also find with, I also find with smaller... Like kill teams or Necromunda stuff, you can you can spend more time on each guy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you, obviously you're not, you're not painting a whole army. You can actually spend a little bit more time than you normally would, making it even more special than you normally would. Just batch painting everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 
that because that can be soul sapping. Uh, you just sit there batch painting model after model. I recently bought a massive Gene Steeler Cult Force, and I got completely in over my head. So, uh, but I've managed to get them painted eventually. <laughs> Thanks, Elster Nation. <laughs> it properly bailed me out of a tight spot there. That was like, I'm never going to get this army painted. And uh, completely saved me. So thank you very much for that. You'll be glad to know I've painted the ten, the ten character models that I needed to paint are done. So yes, just, what was that? and even one vehicle. So um, I'm almost there. Um, I'm just going to quickly bring up your uh, your garden. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, uh, I, I asked everybody to send photographs of their work and for some inexplicable reason Elston Nation sent me a picture of his garden um, the, yeah. the rotary clothes dryer then is is that employed in hobby or is that how you dry your miniatures once you've purity sealed them oh um, well I, it, it, I'm just a bit stumped by the picture of my garden I was looking can you bring that picture back up again I'm trying to find my dog in there that was the main aim with that picture so there's <laughs> was, a dog in there somewhere there's a dog in a bush somewhere like, competition guys spot yeah. the dog yeah spot <laughs> the dog there's um, some beautiful plants in there though is that a bit of a veg yeah, patch as well I think yeah 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 so nice. I, I I helped construct that I and mean, this is very much a <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Yes, yes. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, well, that was a suitable amount of store, uh, stalling. We've, I think we've had a couple of suggestions come through. So, Al Kirkham says he wants to see a £100 breakfast. <laughs> um, Chief range, Joseph says, something. paint something red with a bit of yellow. There you go. That's... Um, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I could do that. I think we can make that happen. Thanks for that request there. Um, Al Kirkham sent a lower camera view. You're looking at it. <laughs> I think that's me, isn't it? I'm red with a bit of yellow. <laughs> or, or a hundred pound breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I, either or. I'm not sure how to take it, but okay. More manly men of manliness is simply what G Chief jo uh, Joseph is asking for there. Rotary gyre is for priming a lot of models at once. There you go. You could get... um... That would actually work, wouldn't it? You just peg all the models along and give it a spin. Yeah. There with your can of pure, uh, your primer yeah. right okay so i tell you what we are pretty much this wasn't going to be a full hour show anyway we just wanted to cut through it we've had a couple of suggestions well we've had one paint some red and some <laughs> paint me <laughs> and so um I, th I think we'll uh i think we'll take that as you actually don't care what we're going to paint you're just going to come along and, and have a good giggle of us so steve yeah, you Sorry, go on. I was, I was just going to say, if you guys just want to come chat to us as well, we'd, we're happy to just sit and chat to you as well. There's nothing really, like, <laughs> it doesn't have to be overly formal or anything like that. I know. I, th I think um, also for people who come along and have a chat as well, we'll do a little um, uh, uh, five-second shout-out. And I'll compile them all together into one massive video as well, so <laughs> everybody can awesome. can appear on the video at the end as well. So if I'm going to try, I'm going to go round Philcon and get as many people to do that five second shout out. Obviously, as well, we'll be there and we'll be talking to some, you know, to the traders. We'll be talking to some of the customers. We'll be having a good old wonder round so people can check out what Chillcon's all about. Um, Steve, oh no, no, I caught him mid yawn there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what I mean? He's an old man. It's a bit late for him. He's in bed by now. It's, it's, it's very tiring work. All this, I love you know. It is. It is. It, is. it takes a lot of energy to keep going. This. I've had two cups of coffee before we started. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Yes. Um, Steve, maybe some last words from you on uh, just letting people know again as a reminder below us. Throughout the entire show, I've, I've been putting up the Chilcom website. The date is on 27th, 2nd of September, which is this coming Saturday. Um, and it opens at 10 o'clock. It's in Derby. The, you can find most of the information out on the website. But, um, you know, just one last word from you, really, on what you're hoping for from the day, really. Put you on the spot. An awesome there. day. An awesome day. <laughs> uh, is yeah. Spud going to be there? Because uh, we got some great Spud's footage from be him. There. Yeah, the Viking himself is going to be the Viking there. himself, and um, I tell you what as well. Possibly, um, we might also see um, the wonderful uh, Judge Good. Thank you very much, Wolf Hunter Hump, for subscribing. 
Um, Judge Gudge will be there, hopefully. Well, I think he'll definitely be there as a patron. You may also see him on the desk as well. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm just going to quickly bring up uh, his Facebook page as well, if you want to check that out. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good point that's while good I'm point. here as well. Um, do check out that. But um, also below in the in the description, you will see links to all of these wonderful people. You can click over to the Chillcom website. You can click over to the Facebook pages for both Elster Nation and Moggy and check their incredible work out. If you don't already like and subscribe these people, you definitely want to do that because um, they're always producing beautiful work. And I am incredibly excited about Saturday. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be, I think it's going to be um, a combination of stress and fun and a whole bunch of giggles. Uh, good food, lots of gaming chat, um, possibly drooling over yet another airbrush just in case. So I've got more airbrushes than I have limbs now. So. Yeah, I've just, just got this one. You need this one, though. You need an extreme. You need an extreme. Is that the extreme, is it? I haven't got that one. I've got... I, changed the I don't like the massive trigger though. I changed it to an You went trigger. for the low rider trigger, yeah. Well that's yeah, that's, that's what all right. the, that's I've what all the cool fingers. kids do. I've got fat fingers like sky eye, I'm like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> so not only will you be able to see all these wonderful painting techniques, there's gonna be a whole bunch of brilliant traders along on the day as well, so you can you can simply look over these guys' shoulders, steal all their techniques and their, their equipment. Well, not actually steal their equipment, but write a list down of what they do. And then trot over to the traders and pick some of this amazing stuff up as well on the day. There you go. How about that? Cool. Awesome. awesome. I think we're done for the night. I just want to thank Steve from Chill Khan, Elster Nation from Elster Nation, and Hello. Moggy from uh, John Moggy Miniatures, something like that. Did I get that right? I hope so. Moggy Miniatures, Moggy Miniatures thank you very much. You got. Oh, I can't help it. You're so complex. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you to everybody who joined us in the chat um it's really nice to see people along oh paint a blame bane blade there you go oh, that's one for me in there <laughs> uh the breast airbrushes are reserved for painting stuff red there you go we're gonna call it a night folks thank you very much for joining us we'll see you all on saturday and remember if you can't get there Get there anyway. Make an effort. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.